Hi everyone, it's Healy. Today I'm going to show you Blue Kit. This is the site Blue Kit, and basically what students do is they play different games with the same uh, the same list of words that you provide. And there are many different games that you can play. You have the cafe, the factory, the racing, the classic, and more. So as you go to bluekit.com, you click sign up and you can sign up with your Gmail account. It makes things much easier. Then after you've logged in, you can click on the word discover to find sets that already exist on Bluekit and that you don't have to prepare. So let's say you're teaching the present simple. All you need to do is write present simple and you'll find different games. You basically just click and see if you like the questions you show answers and if you like it you don't see mistakes you see that it's gonna work well for your class then you can just start playing so there are a few modes there is the host and there is solo solo is just to practice it's just to test it and host is to host a game let's look at the different things that you can do so as you log in you can actually start your own game by clicking on create right here Given the um, the uh, quiz a title, for example, uh, maybe vocabulary or animals, and you can give it a description. You can also upload an image, and you can also click image gallery, and that will actually save you time. So you write animals, and you will see different photos that you can actually use for your sit then what you want to do is click create your set and you start adding questions you click add question and you add a question for example uh, my mm, is barking and then here question one you're gonna write dog here you can write cat here you can write elephant and here you can write lion and then you want to tick the correct answer my dog and so the computer now knows that this is the correct answer and you can give it also a time limit and make it make uh, give it more time like 30 seconds or so if you want to and you can also random answer order which is good if you don't want them to compare their answers and their questions then when you're done writing this question you click save and you are done um, by the way if you want to add a photo you can always add a photo here but just note that it doesn't really give the answer so same thing you click image gallery and you can write dog and you can add pictures this in this case we don't want to add a picture of a dog because that will just give the answer that's it you're done click save another thing you can do is import questions from quizlet so you um, basically save yourself a lot of time because on quizlet there are many many different sets from all over the world about probably any topic this site is called quizlet and as you log in you can click on the search and just look for animal vocabulary um, and just search for other sets that already exist and just take those sets you can also write something like chayot and then you may see different um, sets in Hebrew and English like this one so if you want to use this all you need to do is on Quizlet you click on the three dots here then you scroll down and you click export so three dots export then you basically copy this list of words from here copy text you go back to your blue kit you click import questions as you are already inside the a game that you started you started creating and then you click uh, next step and then next step and here you paste you paste the link that you've copied from Quizlet from Quizlet when you clicked on the three dots export and so you paste the link here you click add questions and that's it all the questions are imported so you can see that the computer actually created multiple choice questions from the Quizlet set 
and you're ready to go. All you need to do now in order to play is clicking is to click save set. You go back and you see your set right here where it says my sets, my sets. And you see and you see the the um the set that you created. You see you have 86 questions cuz that's what you had on Quizlet and you just imported it. Then in order to play this in class or as homework, you click host. Now after you've clicked host, you can choose a mode. You choose whichever mode you like. I I really like the gold quest in the cafe. They are a lot of fun. So let's just try out the cafe. Uh, when you do that, you have two options. You have the homework option and you have the host option right here. Homework or host. And so if you are in class, in class actually either on Zoom synchronically or in class, you want to click host and then the game will be live. If you want to do this as homework, you click homework. Let's start with host because that's the most popular option. After you click host, you can play for time or cash, meaning um, the game will end by the time they reach a certain amount of dollars in the game or by a specific time. So if you allocate time, I would say seven minutes, perhaps five minutes, and then um, you have just the option of random, random names, which basically makes the game anonymous. And you have allow late joining, which is great because then you don't have to wait for everybody to go in. Those that went in can just start the game. So I really like leaving this option open and I don't like doing this one because then I cannot really track and see who's in. Um, so I'm not using, I'm not going to use, use random names because I don't want it to be anonymous, but I'm going to leave this allow late joining. And then that will just allow you to start the game earlier. I'm going to give it five minutes because I think it's enough and I'm not going to play for cash. I think time is a really good option um, and they're just going to review more and more words um, in those five minutes. And then I'm going to click host now and I'm going to start. So you can turn the music on and off here. It's up to you. And in order to send this to students, you just tell students either in class to on their computers or any device that they have to go to bluekid.com slash play. And when they go to bluekid.com slash play, then they enter this code. This is a direct code that will direct them to your game. And in case you are on Zoom, there's a shortcut. You just click copy join link and you send it to them. So it will look something like this. And then as they go in, they will be prompt to write their name. So they write their name, let's say Healy, and the game starts. They pick an avatar and they have, they're basically just waiting for you to start the game. For the host, it looks like this. Then I'm going to click start and the game will start. Now, uh, as a student, it will ask you, would you like a quick tutorial? I would just model it for my students, especially if they are EFL students, English is a foreign language students. So I would just model. I would say, guys, take a look at me and see what I'm doing. This is my restaurant. And I ask them to take a look at me and see the way I model this. I have three customers. They all want toast. I don't have any toast. So I'm going to click restock food because I need to get some toast. Then I'm going to get a question. I'm going to click the answer. It's going to say correct. I'm going to click to go back. And now I have a toast to give my customer. So I'm going to click on the toast and then on the customer. And that customer paid me $3. Now you can see here on the top right corner that I have $3. Great. Now let's do this one. Uh, I don't have any toast to give my customers and I have three customers that I want toast. So I'm going to click restock food. I'm going to answer another question. Go back. Now I have another toast to give. I'm going to give it to this guy. And now I can see that I have upgrade shop. I have the option to upgrade. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to buy some cereal for my shop. And then I'm going to go back. And now I have customers that want toast and they also want cereal. So I need to answer some questions in order to actually have something to sell. So I'm going to click restock food, answer a question, go back. 
Now I can give this tiger a toast. I'm going to click on the toast and click on the tiger. He paid me $3. Now I have $4. And I don't have any toast to give those guys, so I'm going to click restock food, answer a question, go back. Now I have some toast to give this guy, toast and cereal. And I've earned $40 already. I have cereal to give this guy. And I don't have any food. I need to restock. So I'm going to click restock food. And I'm going to go back and give this guy a toast. I'm going to give this guy some cereal. And I already have $108. I can upgrade my shop again and buy some yogurt for my shop. I could probably buy breakfast combo and then go back and then make more money by selling all those things. I'm going to click restock food. Go back. I have some toast to give this guy some cereal. Um, I need to restock. And then I just answer more and more questions and sell items in my shop. That's it. That was the cafe option. There are uh, many other options. There are a lot of fun on this one. The student that has most money by the end of the game is the winner. And you as the teacher, you can see how they are doing on this board. And you can see the time, how much you can see how much time is left. And you can see what all of your students are basically doing what they're selling, what they're upgrading. And so then you can see who's active and who may need help. So you can help them privately um, and just to assist everybody. That's it. I really recommend clicking on host and just looking at other games. Some games, some modes work well in class. Some only have the option of host, meaning to play live in class and some only have the option of homework so um, I would say let's go ahead and try gold chest it's a lot of fun a bit a bit competitive um, racing is very pretty straightforward and easy and classic is just answering questions so you have all the options here and you save time by importing questions from Quizlet which is awesome that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll use it in class. Your, your kids would love it and ask for it every time. And it's wonderful because to get, they get to practice and review vocabulary and grammar concepts and anything you put inside uh, again and again and again and again. So it's a lot of fun and it's worth the, the try. So good luck, enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow Bye-bye.